Math and science are not always everyone's favorite subjects in school, but one Nelsonville York Elementary School teacher has come up with a new way to teach those skills and promote healthy eating at the same time. Josie Strickland, a kindergarten teacher at Nelsonville York Elementary School, joins us now. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. You've developed a cooking class to teach math and science. What grade level and how does cooking help students with math and science? Um, I teach kindergarten and um, we're, doing, we're going through recipes and we're developing reading skills and math skills and science skills. And um, I'm also doing it with a, a fellow coworker, Miss Roach. And um, while reading, th reading and working through the recipes, we touch on 21 different academic content standards for language arts, um, such as reading left to right, top to bottom, using our letters and sounds, and knowing that they go together to make words. We're also touching on 12 math standards and 12 science standards. Um, th some of the math items that we've done so far are counting and measuring. And when we made homemade applesauce, the, they made a class graph of which apple they preferred the taste of, red, yellow, or green. Um, in science, um, we're touching on inquiry standards and asking what if questions, using equipment safely. Um, but we're also going beyond the kindergarten curriculum by um, talking about physical and chemical changes that happen while we're cooking the food. And this is also teaching nutrition in reading schools, how? Um, the reading skills, um, like I said, with the 21 standards that we're touching on in reading, um, we have many small facets that go together to, for them to learn to read because they're just learning to read. So um, nutrition we haven't quite gotten into yet. We're just getting started. We'll be touching more on that when we do our Christmas Around the World unit next month. And how is it cooking with kindergartners? It's a lot of fun. <laughs> um, it's amazing how they all come together and get along really well because everyone wants to participate and be a part of cooking. And what recipes are they preparing? We have made, um, each recipe uh, correlates to what we're teaching currently, our unit. Um, for instance, Thanksgiving this week, we're going to be preparing pumpkin pie from scratch and apple crisp. In the past, um, we took a trip to the pumpkin patch, so we made um, pumpkin pancakes from scratch. And you want to eventually get a chef involved. Why is that? We want um, the students to see that it is also a career. It's not just something you do at home with your parents or with your family. Um, and just something new for the children to see. It, it's nice to have people from the community come in and share their careers. And how did you come up with this idea? Ms. Roach and I um, have done it previously. We did it last year, and then we found out about the grant and decided to try and get it because we could see how much further we could take our project and be able to do so many bigger um, cooking and recipes with them. Well, Mrs. Strickland, thanks for being here with us. Thanks for having me.